If you're like most Americans, you may be thinking that good and fat wouldn't go together. But not all fats are created equal. Different types of fat affect the body in different ways. Fat is one of the essential nutrients of the body. We need it to live. However, even a small amount of fat has a high amount of calories, so it should be consumed in small amounts to avoid weight gain. Some ways to limit fat consumption are to avoid foods completely submerged in fat during cooking, like fried onion rings or fried chicken. Stick to one tablespoon of dressing per cup of salad and choose broth-based sauces and soups instead of cream-based. Foods contain four main types of fat, saturated, trans, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated. Fatty foods can be high in any type of fat. For example, meats tend to be high in saturated fat. A diet high in saturated fat can increase risk for heart disease. Let's take a minute to talk about how this happens. All fat is made up of tiny particles called fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids have a straight, rigid structure. Think of a saturated fat like this toothpick. On its own, a toothpick is weak and can easily be snapped in half. But if you tie together 100 toothpicks, they become much more rigid. Similarly, if you have a lot of saturated fat in your body, it makes organs and blood vessels very rigid, like a bundle of toothpicks, and susceptible to cracking, like an eggshell. Left over a long period of time, this rigidness can lead to hardening of the arteries and heart disease. Foods that contain mostly saturated fat include dairy products like milk, cheese, butter, and yogurt, and meats like chicken, beef, and pork. In fact, the white marbling you can see on raw meat is saturated fat. When choosing these foods, aim for lean, low-fat, or fat-free varieties. Like saturated fat, Trans fats, too, have a straight, rigid structure that can cause hardening of the blood vessels. Trans fats are nutrients that should generally be avoided. How do you know if a food will contain trans fat? Look at the ingredients list on the food label. A food will contain trans fat if it has partially hydrogenated oils in the ingredients list. Examples include commercially made foods like pastries, cakes, pie crusts, cookies, margarine, and shortening. The U.S. Dietary Guidelines recommend that Americans consume as little trans fat as possible. Plant oils such as sesame oil, corn oil, canola oil, and olive oil are high in poly and monounsaturated fats. These types of fats are considered healthy fats because they help lower the risk of heart disease and stroke when consumed in moderation. Nuts and seeds, avocados, and vegetable oil also contain polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats. Out of the healthy fatty acids, omega-3s usually get all of the buzz. Omega-3s are a type of polyunsaturated fat that research has shown to improve brain development in young children and delay the onset of cognitive decline in older adults. Foods that contain the highest amount of omega-3s includes fatty fish like salmon, tuna, mackerel, and lake trout. Walnuts, soybeans, and canola oil will also have some omega-3s. Unlike saturated fat and trans fat, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats promote fluidity and movement of the blood in the body. Healthy fats promote heart health because they don't damage the blood vessels. So what's the bottom line? When choosing fats, limit saturated fat in dairy and meat choices and add plant oils as these contain the good fats or poly and monounsaturated fats. And overall, consume all fats in moderation.